we're going to do on the spot. We're going right into it, man. You ready? Here is package number one. It is H-Factor hydrogen infused water. What do you think of this? Um, just an hesitation to understand what what it is. Mm -hmm. So I like to have the product district a little bit more prominent. And also the, the logo that is vertical. Yeah, it's I'm not a fan of, of vertical to, logo. It's hard, hard to read. Mm -hmm. I like I, to do it like this. I, li I would like it like that too. This yeah. is a strange package though for me. Do you, do you automatically think, hey, that's water? Or for me, I'm like, hey, that's a smoothie. I'm going to crush that thing. It can be water. Uh, on the go, mm -hmm. right? So, sport. Sure. I, I'm a sport man, so I like grabbing and putting my back backpack when I go hiking. Putting your backpack. It's easy, easy. Right. Cool. Let's move on to proposition, which is from the new ever showdown today. I love this packaging. <laughs> <We're>, <laughs> Me too. We guys were talking about earlier today mm -hmm. on the stage. Really well done. Premium brand. Absolutely tells me everything I need to know, and I love the form. I love that it's a flask, and they want you to think it's a cocktail. I've seen coffee in this in this format before, and it doesn't really it didn't make a lot as much sense to me. This makes sense. I'm like I'm I'm taking that with me. Absolutely, yes, yeah. I would. All right, next up, we've got tribucha kombucha. What do you think of tribucha? All right, same same problem we were talking about. I don't understand what's happening here. <laughs> There's so so much stuff. It's pretty psychedelic. I, it, there's so much that's happening. Mm -hmm. And for a consumer that has five seconds, or even less, yep. on a shelf, I don't know what don't yep. what it is. So priority of communication, very, very important here. Can you move, can you move the mic with I'm you sorry. too? Because we're missing yeah, some of sorry. your amazing insights yeah, here. Sorry. Yeah, I think so too. I think this is one of those, it's more of a, it's, it's an art project. It definitely pops out on the shelf, but you know what this says to me? Craft beer. I feel like it is more like a craft beer, but I like it. I mean, the liquid inside is great. Get real, get ugly. What do you think? It's fun packaging. Yeah? It ca it's catchy. What is it? It's but <laughs> there you go. <laughs> catchy, but again, what are what what am I, what are we getting? I mean we we know ugly is kinda of popular brand, mm -hmm. but for consumers, new consumers, I don't think they understand what it is. Yeah. What I'm it is or what I'm getting, right? What oh well you oh, turn there it is. But but then it's hiding. Yeah. So I think you see a little bit of a pattern and trend. Like, can we be a little bit more clear on so what we're getting? This. So let, it's about let me design. Ask you this. In a situation like Ugly, where it's a very crowded space, you know, it's ugly water, do you think you need to have the hero be flavored sparkling water, or do you need to have it be the differentiator, the brand, the flavor? Because I think that's what they're trying to do here. <laughs> I still think. I still think I need to know what it is, even if. Gotcha. Like, the the marketplace we were talking about earlier, it's so crowded, mm -hmm. so crowded, mm -hmm. right? So you need to find the right balance of what what your product is and being impactful. So let's I, strike that balance all the time. All right, I hear you. Ugly. This is the pink grapefruit. I do like the flavor call out. I want to just, I want to just, you know, I want to note that there. It's pretty awesome. Okay, next up is, I think it's called Season Glass Green Teas. Well, you're throwing me, throwing me all these packaging that have, makes me really, give me a hard time to understand what they do. <laughs> like, a shelf, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't understand what it is. It's pretty, it's a clean design. Mm -hmm. I, I would say that What's the first thing your eye sees on there? Mine is red. air red. Yeah. I, whatever That's, that, what is air oh, what mean? it is. Yeah, what, what does is that it? mean? I, I don't, don't, don't know. I so know. the first thing I see is a word that I don't understand, air. Second is uh, I see season glass, and then I see kind of this interesting pattern, the pattern. on the side. Um, Which is, it can be interesting, but everything oh, else. Oh, look, and then at the top it explains harvested all year round, A-Y-R. So it's all year round, I don't know. I'm not I, sure what's going on there. That's a tough one. It's really tough. Very tough. Yes. All right. Any, any. What, what would you do with this? Would you do this? Yeah. First thing you and I feel like I'm repeating myself, but look at the, the priority of communication. Mm -hmm. Look at, and then you can make the most beautiful packaging, like graphics. Mm -hmm. Yes. But very important. Look at what you want to communicate. Mm -hmm. And right now you don't have your elements right on pack, mm -hmm. right? 
Yeah, I think the hero here needs to be lightly sweetened fermented green tea. Like that's what you need to be. That's what you need to come first here, and then figure out what this air red stuff is. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I'm with you. All right, let's move on. Oh, hum kombucha. This is a fun packaging. Yeah. What's yeah. What's fun about it? Well, it's it's vibrant. Mm -hmm. That's what I really like. It's you understand. You have your the brand name. Mm -hmm. You have your flavor, mm -hmm. and you know what it is. Kombucha. And there's a nice call out here and with the with the black, fact that it says blackberry black, and the color is blackberry. I think it is pretty nice. I love this packaging. I like nice. the. And it stands out on the shelf. What's that? And it stands out. It really stands, stands out on the, the shelf. shelf. It's also very. It's also layered, and and Hum has done enough with their brand to be able to be a layered look, because what's going on here is that you've got this this kombucha. Um, that's been around a while, so they have license to kind of do more with their label, I think, than some others do. All right, let's move on. What is this? What's the name of this uh, product? <laughs> what is that called? Oh, Mike. Yes? I have a problem, too. Yeah, we what were is it reviewing called? it this morning, uh, you know, at what stage. What is it? <laughs> I don't know. What's it called? I, it took a while to understand it was Mina. Yep. And the same, we talked about earlier about the logos being, the logos being, ver you know, vertical versus mm -hmm. horizontal. Like, this is hard to read. Plus, the two N are not very... Yeah. Like, readable. if you're trying to read and this, you, it could go a lot of different ways. But even if you fi figure out that it this could is be the even way Misa. to go, it's like... It could be two S. Uh, you know what it is? Hammock, hangman guy, river, mountain. <laughs> it's... Hammock, Hangman Guy, River Mountain Water, lightly what? sparkling. I, I do the, like that the hero is not the brand. The hero is lightly brewed sparkling tea, yeah. and that's clear. That's a good. That's this looks awesome, too. The flavor call is super yeah. cool, don't yes. you think? Yes, and I like what is straightforward. Mm -hmm. You understand what it is, and it, it's, it's, it's. Have you good. seen another product like this on the shelf? With the, what do you mean? The same? In this set, have you seen a product, a can that looks like this? Have you seen one that would pop like this on the shelf? Probably yes. I just I couldn't tell you. You can't tell me. You can't remember. I couldn't tell you another one that will pop really? better than that one. I think that's the good part about it. I, I didn't hate Mina. We just had a lot of feedback for him. Oh look, mother kombucha. Oh, more kombucha. That sounds familiar. <laughs> I think we were talking about earlier it, when we have the the right communication. Mm -hmm. It's it's clear what yep. what it is, what it is. It's interesting design. Now Absolutely. the interesting. The, yes, keep going. The only thing I'm, I'm gonna call out, mm -hmm. kombucha space, it, it's very skinny saturated. Mm -hmm. So always think about how you make your your how you're different. Right? What is the story mm -hmm. you're trying to mm -hmm. to tell, unpack? And it's so important for consumers. So important for consumers. Yeah, I think so too. She actually reverse pivoted where they they killed the skew. What do you think of Dr. Priestley's? Jason Priestley. I mean Joseph Priestley. <laughs> This is this is a beer. It's a beer. Oh wait, it's not. No, it's not. That's sparkling it's a water. Sparkling yeah, water. it looks like a beer. It looks like a beer. Yeah, I think so too. We have we have a we have we have a lot of problem. For me, uh, this this guy's a, like an American icon here, and then they basically um, uh, you know they made this black can, and there's some America sort of elements here, but I want this to be red, white, and blue. All right, one more. Oh yeah. Granny Squibs iced tea. Sorry, guys, I went out of order here. How about Granny Squibs? Speechless. Marco Vescetto, no, hatch it's, it's, design. How can people get a hold is, of you? No, no, no. How can people get a hold of you? We're, we're running. A, you're you're okay. speechless on Granny Squibs iced tea. There's a lot that needs to be done with Granny Squibs. I can assure you that the liquid inside is good. How can people get in touch with you? Uh, you can visit our website, hatchsf.com, mm -hmm. or write me an email at marco at hatchsf.com. Hatch hatch for Easy any for branding and design needs, uh, we, are help, we help entrepreneurs and big brands, small brands to reinvent themselves or launch brand new brands. Awesome. Well, very good to have Thanks, you. Thanks, Mike. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.